to meet me at the corner. I'm here at the Palomar Observatory near San Diego, California. An observatory is a research institution where astronomers study planets, stars, galaxies, and other celestial objects. This observatory stands atop Palomar Mountain and is best known for the HAL telescope, one of the world's largest optical telescopes. The invention of the telescope has changed the way we perceive our universe. Italian scientist Galileo Galilei is credited with building a telescope and pointing it at the stars. With this amazing new instrument, he was able to spot mountains and craters on the moon, discover that the Milky Way was composed of stars, and discover the four largest moons of Jupiter. Telescopes come in different sizes and shapes. Some telescopes are small enough to hold in one hand. Huge radio telescopes may measure up to 1,000 feet across or almost as long as three football fields. Some telescopes are parts of spacecraft. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, explores the sky while it circles the Earth in space. Scientists on Earth control this telescope with radio signals. The signals point the telescope at objects the scientists want to study. Today we're meeting with Dennis Mamana, an astronomer who lives here in San Diego County. We're going to ask him how to become amateur astronomers and what we can see in the night sky. Why is the observatory located so far away from the city? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is you have to get an observatory away from the lights of the city. The lights at nighttime light up a city, but they also light up the night sky, just like the sun does during the daytime. You can't see stars in the daytime because the sun scatters light all over the place. And the lights at night wash out the night sky so you can't see very many stars. Another reason is so you can put an observatory on top of a large mountain because when you're on top of a mountain you're above a lot of the air and the air tends to make stars twinkle and shimmer and makes them really look kind of fuzzy. So astronomers don't like that. You want to put an observatory high on mountain tops as far away from city lights as possible. What is astronomy? Astronomy is the study of the entire universe. Uh, the stars, the planets, the galaxies, the moon, black holes, quasars, all kinds of really cool things out there in space. So it's really one of the most exciting sciences there is. Why is this such an important year for astronomy? Well, 2009 is a really important year because it marks the 400th anniversary since Galileo, the famous Italian astronomer, aimed his telescope toward the sky. He didn't invent the telescope and he wasn't the first person to aim a telescope to the sky, but he was the first person to use a telescope to study the heavens in a very systematic way. And he discovered things like the craters on the moon and moons of Jupiter and the phases of Venus and sunspots, and all things that he didn't know existed. And that helped prove that the Earth was not the center of the universe, as many people believed. And he helped to revolutionize our concepts of not only of the universe, but of our place in the universe. So this is the 400th anniversary of that, and it's a very, very important milestone for us. How does a telescope work? Well, a telescope's a really simple device. It is simply a light bucket. It collects light. That's all a telescope does. It collects light from space, which is very faint, and then it focuses it to a point where an astronomer can study it. They can put a camera there, or they can put an electronic detector, or they could even put an eyepiece where they could look at the light with their eye. What can we see in the night sky? Well, with the human eye, you can go outside on any clear, dark night and see a whole bunch of really cool things. First of all, if it's really dark, of course, you can see a lot of stars. That's the thing people think about in the night sky. But of course, you can see the moon when it's up. You can see planets like some of my favorites are Jupiter and Venus. I really like those two, but you can see Saturn and Mars and Mercury also. And on a really, really good dark night, if you know exactly where to look, you can see at least one galaxy that is far beyond the galaxy that we call our Milky Way. This is all with just the eye. You can see all these really neat things. I'd like to study the stars. How would I begin and what would I need? Well, you don't need very much. All you need are two things. You need your eyes and you need curiosity. You need to be curious about what's going on around you. And when you go outside and look up at the sky, you can learn a tremendous amount with just your eyes. Get yourself a small star chart or a star map and find your way around the sky. Learn the names of the stars and the constellations. 
And then you can start to learn where the planets are located and what phase the moon is in. And once you get really good at that, you can try binoculars because there's some really great things to look at with binoculars. Star clusters, gaseous nebulae out of which stars and planets are born, even distant galaxies you can see with binoculars. And then once you do that, then you're ready for a telescope. Telescopes, you can get them as big or as small as you like, but once you have a telescope, then the whole universe is yours. Thanks for letting me interview. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, you're quite welcome. Nice to meet you too. That's it for my corner of the cosmos. See you next time.